Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have a couple of things to share with you. First, I wanted to share this very thoughtful rack that I received from Janice. My dear friend Janice, she's Cleaner Jan H here on YouTube and um, she's just such a doll. She sent me um, some goodies for my birthday. Hi Janice. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this really sweet card and this was a diamond dies design team project because do you see this dress form here you can find this die over at diamond dies I'll try to remember to leave the link in the description box but this card was made with the um, Prima Epiphany uh, papers and um, just so beautiful and I believe these flowers were also made using the realistic rose dies I believe and also the fern leaf, just really sweet. You did a beautiful job, Janice. I just love it. And then she wrote me the sweetest note and she stamped the inside. Thank you so much, I, I really appreciate it. And then she sent me some um, Claudine Helmuth craft sticks and if nothing else, I'm gonna use these to mix my my colors with my modeling paste and and um, my different texture paste so these will come in handy she sent me a little bag of bling really sweet so I'm gonna be using those on projects and then she sent me the 12 by 12 paper collection set of Coffee Break by Prima gorgeous papers and I won't go through them all but um, this is this one sheet will give you an idea as to the color palette of this collection I love it thank you so much for the 12 by 12 Janice because I'm definitely going to do some mixed media um, you know projects layouts and stuff with this so really sweet and then my all-time favorite is she sent me a 12 by 12 set of the Epiphany papers. So from Prima, really sweet paper. I love this. This is like my style right here. I love this. So this is gonna um, work really well with um, uh, mixed media and stuff too. I just love this. Thank you so much, Janice. You're so thoughtful to have sent these to me. Um, I really appreciate it. So I wanted to share some um, Prima doll tags that I've been creating. I don't, I'm not sure, I don't think any of these were created using any of the newer ones. I'm not, I can't remember because I did make these a little while back. But um, do you remember Oh, a little while back I created this um, Prima doll tag of Harry Potter, the boy who lived. And I just thought it came out really cute. And I still want to create a couple more Harry Potter Prima doll tags using the boy doll. But um, I did create a Hermione um, Prima doll tag. And I thought it came out really cute as well. So this is supposed to be Hermione. <laughs> I used the um, witch's hat is from, I didn't bring it out. Um, the hats one, I believe it is, of the Prima Doll accessory stamps. So it came out really sweet. Um, this I, I used an old DCWV um, paper collection to stamp out her dress. And I did make it dimensional so that it would look like it was flowing. Um, I didn't paper, this is a Prima Doll tag, and I didn't paper the tag at all. I did go over it with black soot um, distress ink, and I did put some cheesecloth there to give it like an eerie feel, I guess, because she's supposedly at Hogwarts. I used the stamp set, see I forgot to bring out my stamp sets, I'm really sorry, but this is a, um, I believe it's a recollection stamp set, the one with the silhouettes, and then it has different frames. So uh, I used the same paper collection that I used for her dress on the frames, and I popped up the silhouettes so that they would, you know, look better on the frames. There's the gentleman and the woman, really sweet. And um, I did use, I did, um, paper piece her boots as well, but I did use my Tim Holtz Distress Markers to color her skin and her hair 
And I did put a little bit of burlap um, trim underneath her dress, like there just for texture and fun. And then for the little cat, for Crookshanks, her um, magic cat, <laughs> um, I used this Studio 112 stamp. And I've had this for quite a while. She is so cute, this little cat. And she is the perfect size for these prima dolls, I mean, um, scale-wise. So I colored in Crookshanks with my Tim Holtz Distress Markers because Crookshanks is an orange cat. Really cute. So that's supposedly Hermione, my Hermione Prima Doll tag. So there's those. And then, um, then I created this one. And this isn't a newer Prima Doll. This is uh, one from a previous release. But I used the DCWV Paper Stack um, Something Boutique. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, I, it was a pack that I had found at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I used a Prima Doll, you know, tag. And then I paper, papered it with the DCWV paper. Um, and I paper pieced the doll's dress and also her hair. I didn't even try to color her hair. Um, I cut out the Eiffel Towers from the paper collection and I did use some of my modeling paste to give it a little bit of texture and there's a pink doilies, pink doily underneath, a paper doily. And then I used flowers on this one. I also used the cat again and I popped the cat up on a couple layers of dimensionals so that it would look like the cat was sitting just in front of the doll. And um, I just used um, random uh, I Am Roses flowers and other flowers from my stash and I went over them with a bunch of stickles and used some lace here at the bottom. So I didn't color in the cat because um, I just stamped her with brown ink so I thought that came out cute and I used some um, ribbons and twine and um, I used a tag that said hello friend. So I thought that was cute. I really love this cat. I, I'm going to end up using that cat on a lot of my Prima Doll projects now. <laughs> and for this um, Prima Doll, I used this stamp set that uh, Marcia, Flat Goldem, hi Marcia, had sent me quite a while ago. Um, it's really sweet. It's a red rubber stamp set um, from Darcy's. I think she bought this in um, the UK when she went on vacation. But anyway, it's perfect for mixed media. Do you see the bird there with the music? And the wing has the swirls and then this frame here. It's just really, really sweet. So um, I used this when I created, let me set these aside, I'm sorry. You know, this is the first video I've done in what seems like forever and I feel like I'm all over the place. <laughs> so, so here's the doll and here's the little bird, really cute. I used the fairy, um, no, the, prince, the Prima Princess um, papers for this um, Prima Doll. I backed the tag with the paper from the princess stack and I also paper pieced the doll with the paper from the princess stack. I colored in her hair. Um, yes, and I stamped, I stamped the bird and also this frame onto paper from the um, princess uh, paper stack from Prima. So there's the frame in the background, and I went over it with uh, Walnut Distress Ink just to give it that, um, you know, that darker tone a little bit. And I, I obviously went around the inside with stickles. I, I used a lot of stickles on this particular one, and also I used um, my gold stickles and just left little random dots everywhere with the gold stickles. I just thought that looked really sweet. <coughs> And um, I stamped live and cut it in a banner here. And then for the bottom, here's the bird. And I set her wing on dimensionals there. And I went over the swirls on her wing with my gold stickles. I just thought that looked really sweet. 
um, and I just used a variety of flowers, prima flowers and other flowers from my stash, recollections flowers, used a lot of stickles on them. And I just thought that bird looked really sweet sitting at, you know, her feet. I just thought it came out real sweet. And then I used my liquid, liquid pearls um, and put random pearl drops throughout the tag. So I thought that one came out cute too. Came out really pretty. I love this stamp set. Thank you so much, Marcy. Really, really pretty stamps on there. And there's a, a little cameo piece from uh, my stash here. So yes, these are my um, latest Prima Doll tags. Thank you again, Janice for my beautiful birthday surprise. You're such a doll and I just love you. I'm, I'm so thrilled that, um, that you're my friend. So um, yes, that's what I wanted to share. Thanks so much for watching and I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.